Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. We read these verse, these words in John 14, the first three verses. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. This passage is often chosen to be read at funeral services as we think about our departed love, loved one going home to be with our Lord. This Sunday is All Saints Sunday, a time to remember those who we love who have gone home. We one more time remember them, celebrate their lives, and honor them for all they have contributed to make our world a better place. I must admit, 2021 seems to be more difficult this year as both my parents have passed away, and also my Uncle Dick, all outstanding Christians and loving members of my family. But so many deaths due to COVID have found families grieving unexpectedly, and collectively it adds to our loss. Wesley Church has lost many members in the past year including our oldest member, Norman Wolf, our beloved music and worship director, Deb Landrum, and most recently, a wonderful matriarch, Mary Williamson. These are just a few of the saints that we are missing. We miss each one, and we are still grieving over each loss. But you know, in faith, that loss is tempered in many ways. We know that Jesus has gone ahead of us, and he promises that he has prepared a place for us. Our reservation is secured, and he awaits our arrival. Our homecoming will include him greeting us with, with open arms and an affirmation, well done, good and faithful servants. We, gather, we will gather with other saints, loved ones that have preceded us, and indeed, it will be a homecoming unlike any other. The loss is tempered in faith as we remember these words from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 and 52. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability and this mortal body must put on immortality. And then think about word, these words from Revelations 21, verses 3 and 4. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among the mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. Now listen to these words. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying will be no more. For the first things have passed away. The message is so clear that as we go home, we are forever changed. All the struggles of this world will be no more as we put on new imperishable bodies. Not only are our loved, loved ones at home with the Lord, but they are free. Free from all the struggles that age and illness and life have brought their way. We can find comfort being assured they are so much better off now that they are home with the Lord. I hope you will join us or your congregation this Sunday to celebrate All Saints Sunday. I feel I full well appreciate for all the tenderness of the hour with those whose grief is still fresh. And my prayer for you is that as we remember and honor our loved ones, that it will continue to bring you comfort, 
and also help you to celebrate how these persons have made each of us better, I want you to also think with me and reflect on how your loved one has impacted their homes and families and workplace and churches and communities. It's important that we find the strength and the courage to honor those who the Lord has welcomed home. Amen. I just want to share with you some things that are going on uh, in, in the next couple of days and weeks ahead. Um, don't forget Saturday night when you go to bed uh, to turn your clocks back. And uh, this uh, weekend, we get to enjoy an extra hour of sleep. You know, I know you don't want me here to say this, but Christmas is coming. And certainly want to welcome all children of any age uh, to join in the Christmas play uh, that we're planning um, and we can invite you to attend our first practice, which is going to be on Tuesday evening, November 9th at 6.30 p.m., right, in the, right here in the sanctuary. If you have any questions, please contact Amy Whitworth. So uh, children of all ages, uh, looking to, for you to join in our Christmas play. And that first practice is going to be November 9th at 6.30 Poinsettia orders are due. It's the last day. Uh, we need to turn our order into the florist. Uh, we need those orders by Sunday, November 14th. Uh, see the bulletin uh, for details. Order forms are in the bulletin, uh, newsletter, and in the lobby. Wesley Church Conference is going to be Monday, November 15th uh, at 7 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Everyone is welcome to attend, and Wesley members are eligible to vote. This is our annual meeting that celebrates our ministries, elects leadership for 2022, and cares for other essential items as required by our church discipline. Do you like to sing? Uh, we're looking for church uh, for choir members. Uh, our church choir has uh, resumed uh, singing, and uh, our next practice will be on November 17th at 7 p.m. Please consider joining us. Well, I thank you for visiting with me, and let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. We bless your holy name, O God, for all your servants who, have fini having finished their course, now rest from their labors. Give us grace to follow the example of their steadfastness and faithfulness to on your honor and glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.